First, forgive me that I can't speak in your beautiful language. I came to Georgia to spend some quiet time with my family and my friend Lavon Bazate. But it seems that our Lord had different plans. I've landed in the middle of this, a beautiful rising of the people of Georgia to stand for faith and family. There are many, many lies that the media in the West tell us about what is happening here. And there are many lies that are told about us Americans here. I want you to know this, that many of us Americans, when we look at that flag, we think of family, of faith, of Christianity, of unity, of mother and father. Our opponents talk about tolerance, but where is the tolerance when they try and interrupt us, when they try and shout us down, when they try to silence us? Men of faith, there are many of us around the world of different countries, different backgrounds, different faiths. We know the lies. We know that when men and women stand for the family, when men and women stand for the natural family, man, woman, child, that is a great good. There were some that tried to scare me and talk me out of coming up here and speaking, tried to intimidate me and say it was dangerous, that we can't stand together. But men of faith, if we will not stand when our families are attacked, if we will not stand when our culture is undermined, if we will not stand when our country is dismantled, when will we stand? So I stand with you today, cradled in the arm of our protector, Our Lady. I know there is someone much more powerful than any of us watching over us. God bless you all for never surrendering. God bless your patriarch for being a leader of vision and faith.